Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. What we'll be doing here today, guys? Okay, we'll show you how to test. Okay, how to test the uh, window molder here. Okay, this one, guys, will be for any car pretty much. Okay, uh, we're working here on a Dodge, but the window molders are so interchangeable. They're uh, sometimes even made by the same company, like this one. Uh, it's made by Bosch. Okay, you can see that's the Bosch symbol. So it's not Chrysler, it's not Jeep, it's not Dodge, anything like that. It's made by uh, by uh, Bosch. And you can see right here it even says Bosch. So, how you guys test those? There is no need to buy one, okay, if it's working. Sometimes it could be electrical connector that uh, causes your window not to go up and down. It could be a relay, it could be a fuse. So. If you're in doubt, guys, always test that before you buy one. There is no need to waste your money. In addition, guys, every car we get at the shop, we'll make 200 videos. So, please subscribe. What you need to test it? A 12 volt battery. Okay, 12 volt battery. Alligator clips. All the parts and tools, guys, that we use will be listed in the description of the video below. Now, almost every window motor comes with only two wires. Check it out, only two of them. One is negative, one is positive. But what happens? If you connect them one way, the motor will turn, let's say, clockwise. If you switch the wires, it will run the other way, counterclockwise. Now, with the wires being connected like that, okay, check it out now. When you give it 12 volt supply, the motor will start turning. Now, if we switch the wires, negative and positive, the direction of the motor will change. Okay, so let's switch it again. Check it out how it starts turning the other way so that way guys you can figure out if your window motor is working or not uh, now again if it doesn't if, if the motor works but your window doesn't go up and down check fuse check relay check the window motor and uh, it could be it could be even a broken wire sometimes that's a weak spot on the car sometimes right here a wire could break where it falls and causes your window not to work so thank you guys for watching please subscribe to the channel and see you guys next time